guys um, so in this tutorial I'm basically going to cover the chords okay um, everything is do done mostly by finger picking but then you know the first riff was obviously um, a bit complicated that's why I covered that in a you know different tutorial and you can f I f I f I'll, I'll paste the link on the video as well so you can refer to that once you're able to play that then <clears throat> let's learn the chords and then obviously I'll teach you where exactly which chord needs to be played so you need to know E minor. This is how you, you should be playing E minor. All right. Then there is something called as E minor seven. This is how you have to play E minor seven. Just put your, you can even put your index finger on your sixth. Um, yeah, this is the sixth string and fifth fret, sixth um, uh, sixth fret and fifth string. I'm sorry, sixth fret and fifth string, and just play. This is your E minor seven. All right. Then there is another chord called E minor add nine. This is how you play. How you play E minor add nine. So it's basically your index finger on sixth fret, sixth fret and fifth string, and then your ring finger on eighth fret and fourth string. This is E minor add nine. Then you have to play A seven. This is how you play A seven. Uh, put your ring finger on the second string and sixth fret and then middle finger on fourth string sixth fret okay so second and fourth fret second string and fourth string on the same fret and only you have to play these strings so first five strings don't play the E string so it's this this is A7 okay then you need to play D suspended 2. I have shown this in my previous tutorials. I will show, still I will show again. This is how you play e, D suspended 2. If you know how to play D, this is very easy. Just have to remove your middle finger from it. So this is D suspended 2. Okay. That is, again, you have to play the la first four strings. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And then there is one more chord, which is your simple G major chord. That's it. So you have basically E minor, E minor, E minor seven, E minor add nine, A seven, D suspended two, and G. Okay. Very important exercise. Uh, once you're able, to, once you know these chords very well, if you try with your left hand, now do the finger picking with with your right hand on all these chords. Okay. And you have to count seven. How are you supposed to count? It's this way. It's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, you have to count 7. Now, this is how you have to do it. Let's say if it is your A7. Okay. Now, remember in this particular song, they have done finger picking with these 7 beats. And every chord has a different way in which they have done it. Okay. So, watch carefully. Uh... The starting of the song you to solo sam so that I need till that you to solo sam you have to still play that intro pattern which is which is basically sam I that I part that's where you play this A seven 
okay so you play with i i just i'll just join both the things for you so it's basically so this is what is better so saavan there is one more chord which i just missed is basically a suspended chord so instead of putting all the three fingers to play a major you're just putting two fingers and this is a suspended a suspended two so it's so it's basically uh you to so la sa ban till that time you're playing that first riff and then i gay that i gay when i comes that's where you have to play a7 Okay, this is where you play. This is how you play. I have already shown you A7. Now this is how you have to do the finger picking for this one. So when you play A7, you have to do it like this. It's five, four, three, two. So it's basically one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So it's basically one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's how the the beats are but with, with, with the you know the string numbers it will be 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 so it's 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 that's how you are counting 7 so or if i show it here it will, it will be a little louder Okay. A7 5432343. Okay. Then so when you're saying I I gay that time you have to play two loops of this. I gay गौर नहीं किया नाउ गौर नहीं किया दैट इज डी सस्पेंडेड टू नाउ हियर यू आर प्लेइंग इट लाइक दिस इट विल बी सो इट्स अगेन फोर थ्री टू वन टू थ्री टू फोर थ्री टू वन वन टू थ्री टू फोर थ्री टू वन टू थ्री टू ओके सो loop on a suspended or d suspended to one loop on d suspended to next loop on a suspended to it will be like now in case of a suspended to it will be again the same uh, right hand combination 4 3 2 1 2 3 2 okay so that's the best thing for you so d suspended to and a suspended to the combination is same kar nahi ki suspended to a suspended to and then tumne the tumne is on your a is your e minor add 9 so i'll just show you from here so it's tumne hi ki and then tumne okay tumne so it's, it depends on you when you're playing e minor add 9 you can play it like this you can actually play uh you know 5 4 3 2 5 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 okay so let me play from d so it's two 
one loop of D suspended to one loop of A suspended to and then one two loops remember two loops of E minor add 9 sus E minor add 9 so let me play from your A7 okay This is where the entire thing is covered. So, uh, and then the same thing like Yuto Sula sound. Now, that Bhiga Manka Angan you have to play on E minor, simple E minor 7. So, just use this. Okay, this is how you play E minus seven. So B gamma and gamma will be two two loops on E minus seven, and you're playing five. You're playing six, five, four, and then two, three, four, three, six, five, four, two, six, five, four, two, three, four, three, six, five, four, two, three, four, three, six, five, four, two, three, four, three. Six, five, four, two, three, four, three. So, Bhiga Man Ka Aagam Is Martaba Is Martaba is exactly like Aegai Same thing Your two loops of A7 One loop of D suspended to One loop of A suspended to And then two loops of your E minor add 9 Okay, I'll play from Bhiga Man Ka So, Bhiga Man Ka is my tabba kya jane kya kiya tumne okay then dil mein jaagi ishq wali manmarziya manmarziya okay this part uh, obviously is repeated many times uh, dil mein jaagi you can simply use e minor for this or you can use e minor 7 both are fine i am using this e minor so same thing 5 4 3 1 2 oh sorry oh sorry 2 3 4 3 5 4 3 2 3 4 3 so it will be dil mein jaage okay two loops then again ishka wali is again same thing again one more loop so dil mein jaage total four loops dil mein jaagi two loops ishq wali two loops and then comes manmarziya and man, another manmarziya manmarziya okay so first manmarziya will be your a7 oh sorry your a suspended to which you played earlier manmarziya manmarziya okay zid ki mari same lyrics only the lyrics part is different but your chord will be the same it will be again your e minor manmarziya is again yeah so same thing four times e minor then your two times a suspended to two times uh, sorry this will be i think one time so one time a suspended to one time d suspended to and then again two times your e minor okay let me just show you quickly uh, now when you're playing this a suspended uh, two okay in this case you can also use your open a it will sound good and so instead of playing from fourth four three Two one one two three two. You can actually play like five four three two and then one two three two five four three two one two three two. Okay, it'll sound good. So let me play again from uh, Dil Mein Jaage. So Dil Mein Jaage.
uh, after this when I'm playing you know I have basically given a bridge here and then I'm just whistling so it's basically it's basically simply E minor and A suspended that's what I'm doing and then uh, again the same D suspended see only you're only playing these chords okay now ab talak si uh, the, the next uh, ab talak si uh, that's where only the G major comes okay in that particular loop I'll just show you that part now in the original song again they have play, uh, used finger picking but you know I've done a little um, improvisation on that I'm basically going to use a rhythm here so it will be basically so it's basically I'm count counting 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 let's play it slowly it will be 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 and that's how I'm playing so it's E minor man marziya that's G man marziya so it's G and then A suspended to man marziya So basically, lyrics is different, chords are same. Again, everything is E minor. Okay. Now, this is how you have to play. Uh, Next two stanzas, I think Sikko Jaise is again how Dil Me Jagi you play the same thing. So Dil Me Jagi, that particular verse, if you see, it's the same copy Sikho Jaise. And then Be Adabusi again, it is like Ab Talakse. So it's basically if you see the first verse is same as third verse and second verse is same as fourth verse. And then you can just play this. Okay. So um, try it out. Okay. What I would like to suggest to you is that. This song is not an easy song, okay? Um, you need to practice all these things properly. See, if you want to find shortcuts, obviously you can play chords and then I don't think it will be so difficult. Instead of finger picking, if you just play chords, it, it will not be difficult. But it won't sound that good, right? You need to, and at some point of time, you would need to learn different patterns, different types, techniques in guitar. This is one of the very important techniques. The whole of classical guitar, they just do finger picking. If you must have have, if you if you've seen any classical guitars and the way they play it you know they don't use pick they just use their fingers you know so it's a huge it's a huge genre and uh, this is just an introduction you know I'm not an uh, expert in finger picking but I'm just using this because this is the requirement of this particular song okay so this is how you should be attacking this song first just do finger picking practice with no chords just plain your uh, open string open fret tuning and just practice your you know you, you can refer the, the earlier tutorial for this once you are able to do finger picking okay then practice all the chords with your left hand and just strum all the chords E minus 7 A7 and all of that okay practice those chords separately once you are able to practice those chords then you can you know try to do finger picking with this particular weight 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 and I've actually explained each and every for each and every chord what string numbers you're supposed to play I've explained that in a tutorial you can actually take a notepad and write it down so that you can actually practice it that way for E minor there's a unique pattern for E minor 7 I think it, you can use the same pattern for A7 there's a different pattern then for D suspended 2 and A suspended 2 okay there is the same pattern you can use the same pattern right practice these patterns properly with your finger picking okay once you're able to do this then go to your intro part remember don't directly start with intro okay you should be able to finger pick it properly and with all these chords shiftings okay many a times what will happen is when you you can play properly you can do the finger picking properly with E minor but the moment you change the chord to something else mm -hmm. you forget your finger picking of your right hand which is a very common problem 
to overcome that problem there are no shortcuts you need to keep practicing it and it will happen very slowly but then you know that's how you should attack any song you do so as i said once you're able to do all of this your left hand is changing chords properly and at the same time you're able to finger pick you you're able to plug the chords that's where you attempt the uh, the starting part of the song that riff okay that riff which i played that one okay and then you can join both of this okay and then see if you are able to sing the song it's a beautiful song to sing um and that's how this whole package you have to you know learn this as a whole package and then uh, you know give me your feedback about it all the best <laughs>